How do? It's time for another beer review. It's Friday challenge time. It's been a long time since I've said those words. I took a break from Friday challenge because of the advent calendar at December. It was just becoming difficult. I said I'd bring it back in the new year. And then I caught COVID. So that delayed it a little bit, getting out and about. So new month, February, new start. We're doing Friday challenge. And as I said on the community tab yesterday when I wrote a little comment, I said I'm just dipping my toes in and I am literally dipping my toes in this week because my mate Craig Kenny has been begging me to do this beer review and he's been practically on his hands and knees begging me to do this one. So I said when I brought back Friday Challenge, it would be the first one that I did and it was an easy one because it's already in my fridge and I've deliberately kept it back for this day when I brought it out. Um, it's Pomona Island, which has been on the channel a lot lately and it's Clarky Cat Pale Ale coming in at 5.5% in the 440 mil can. He raves about this beer, so I said I would do it. Um, as always, for those that are new to the channel, my name's Greg, if you don't know that already, and what I ask on a Friday is get your suggestions in and things that you want me to review. Um, I do keep a list. There is the list. I write them on, so just fire in the comments on anything that you want me to do. Just to give you an idea of some things that people want me to do, um, we've got Duval, we've got Smivix that we had to source because I'm, I'm not in Ireland, uh, Boddington's, Carl Insider, Le Chouf, Perla, Lidl's uh, Gallo Lager, um, Amstel Maximum, I've never seen that one, Crest Super, Red Stripe, Dry Blackthorn Cider, Henry Weston Cider, Lambrini, Ranga Ginger Beer, I don't think I'll find that one for a while, Witchwood Dry Heck, um, Absinthe, uh, there's, there's loads on here. I've only just said Cooper Sparkling Ale. I'll, I'll try and get to them. Um, like I say, just sometimes it depends what's easy for me to source. Um, I, if I get if I see any dragon soups, I'll always do those. So, yeah, anything alcohol related, let me know and I will stick it to the list with my shocking handwriting. My English teacher, when I was at secondary school, said I wrote like a spider on crack. Um, and that's the proof there. So we'll get this out in a, uh, into the glass. It says the hops are um, Citra, HBC522 and Mosaic. It's a double dry up pale. Not familiar with HBC522. Um, I think it's obviously it's a relatively new hop. Um, I read online that it's similar to Centennial, um, but don't quote me on that. I'm not, um, like I said, I'm not familiar with it. But, like I said, this is literally me just dipping my toes in. Normally on Friday Challenge, like, it's, like I said, I will try anything on Friday Challenge. Um, this one is more of a Friday treat than a, a challenge. But, um, it's always there. You know, if you want to be nice to me, recommend a lovely beer. If you want to be horrible to me, recommend an absolute stinker. Just see the playlist. There's loads on there for you to look at. So, we've got a real hazy lemon yellow colour. I can see a couple of bubbles going up. Real hazy on that. And it's got a real whipped up, brilliant white head on it. Right, we'll get the nose. Lots of citrus fruits. Lemon and pineapple really jumping out. Slightly floral. But it smells super fresh. It smells the part. Right, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Craig. Oh, that's lovely. Um, it's a little bit light body. Um, I would have liked the body to be um, a little bit fuller, but it is a pale ale. Um, but it is super refreshing, this beer. Yeah. Um, light citrus flavours. Lemon. A bit of pineapple as well in there. Slight peppery finish. But that is super crushable. Um, yeah, not the most exciting in terms of flavour profiles. It's not got big punchy flavours. But it's one of them beers where everyone says on YouTube, if it was a hot day, I could absolutely tan it. And it is one of them beers that I would tan. Um, I could, this will not touch the sides of this beer. I want my pale ales to be easy drinking and super chuggable and refreshing and it ticks all of those boxes 
So for me, it does everything that I want from a pale ale. I'm super impressed with this beer. And it's been in the can for, uh, well, I've had it for about five, six weeks in my house. Um, I got it in a December sub. It was canned. It was canned on the 13th of December, but it's still, we, we know it's beginning of February now, it still tastes super fresh, this beer. Fantastic. So yeah, citrus flavours, lemon, touch of lime maybe, pineapple I'd say is probably the big one, and the peppery finish. Easily going to recommend that one. So I'll add that to my Friday Challenge playlist, I'll add that to my Pomona Island playlist, there will be more Pomona Island beers coming in the next couple of days or so I would imagine, because I've still got a few in my fridge. Keep the challenges coming, just write them in the comments, I will get to them eventually. Um, like I say, you've seen the list, so I'll add it to the list. Thank you for watching and on to the next one, cheers.